There's 16 adults in the family group text. My sister goes to women's marches. My dad stormed the Capitol. I'm just saying everybody's in there. My sister's like, we're pregnant. Guess the gender. I'm like, you should let them decide. <laughs> my sister put in the family group text. She goes, pray for Malachi. He's having a tough day. And everybody in the group text is like, praying for Mally. We love him. I go, what's going on? And she texted me directly. You know how they backdoor text you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She came around back. She goes, what do you mean? I go, what happened? She goes, he has tendonitis in his thumbs from holding the iPad. I go, I'm not praying for that, dude. <laughs> I'm not putting that up to the God of the universe with my name on it. <laughs> Just widows, orphans, missionaries. Mally wants to watch Paw Patrol. No. <laughs> <laughs> no toppings off limits for comedian extraordinaire John Chris. New special on YouTube called John Chris would like a release, like to release a statement. The Christian comic is selling out shows as he always has. It's called his emotional support tour, but he needs no emotional support. He just wants your money to buy tickets to his shows. And this Tuesday is releasing a new song, Every Christian Music Video. The title explains it all, basically a parody of every Christian music video ever made. John Chris joins us right now. And uh, John, welcome. Congratulations on all your success. You're way too productive. You're making other Americans feel bad. Do you want to use this time to apologize? Hey, I'm just trying to follow you. I feel like all you, you, you got me on a podcast. You got TV hits. I mean, I'm going to have to come over to your house for dinner here in a few weeks. Right. I mean, I, it's kill me. To, kill me is everywhere. You know what? And you do the thing that I respect most. You know how to dress casual. T-shirt, hey. jean shirt. <laughs> I mean, isn't it hard to do that, what you're doing right now? This is Nashville, bro. If I walked there, they, I don't even know where to get a suit. If I was like, hey, can I buy a suit there? Go, we don't have, you got to go up to New York City. We don't have those here. So, John, you do more interaction with the American public than most people, not only the videos that you shoot, but the, but the crowds that you get. There's a new study out oh, now yeah. with, uh, with uh, millennials. And the top five reasons millennials are getting fired, they seem to be getting fired a lot these days. And a lot of it has to do, I think it's correctable. But you, before I get into the study, you understand what it's like to be a younger person trying to make it in their first job like fast food. You're only allowed to work in what place growing up? Listen, everybody knows this. The only restaurant I was allowed to work at in my Christian uh, pastor family, uh, my dad said I could work at Chick-fil-A for the summer. That <laughs> right. was the only McDonald's, absolutely off limits. But Chick-fil-A, they'd let me work there. Yeah, that was the only one I was allowed to work at. How'd it go? Um, well, I mean, you don't have to bring this up on national television, but I did get fired. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I was trying to stir the lemonade. Uh, I couldn't find the stir, and it so was back there. Did. It was an emergency situation, and I, I did stir it with my hand. But it was all the germs have probably worn off if you did drink that lemonade back in uh, 2001. If you're still alive, you should be good. Well, that was a mistake, an error in judgment. You learned from it. You probably haven't done it since. Other millennials, who, nope. by the way, we have a lot of respect for, but so far we're finding they're having trouble holding jobs. They blame it on a lack of soft skills, time management. They face pressure from technology and advancements. Uh, they also have a, a, struggle, uh, a struggle with criticism. Mentally, it's not yeah. good. They also want life-work balance. So you understand what they're going through now. Any advice for millennials watching right now that maybe are unemployed or recently fired? Well, I mean, listen, remember growing up, and I'm not one of these big, well, back when I was growing up, comedians, but remember, how often did you hear, Brian, growing up, we can't afford it? We can't afford <laughs> all it. All the time. That's all. I think that's, that's, the, that's the three words opposite of I love you. You can't afford it. We can't afford it. That I heard, I think, every day. And, and now that doesn't seem to exist anymore. They're just like, oh, there's no delayed gratification. They're, if they're like, Louis C.K. used to have a bit that goes, remember when we ran out of money? We were just like, I guess I can't do any more stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, hasn't, that hasn't existed in 20 years, bro. And John, what you're simply saying is, if you don't have any money and can't do any stuff, then you're not going to get fired. There's a desperation that makes you a better worker. <laughs> now let's talk about oh, yes. this. Uh, before I get to your response to this, uh, JetBlue is getting out of their partnership with American to buy Spirit. That's their goal. You talked about Spirit Airlines and what JetBlue could be getting. Here's John riffing, uh, riffing about Spirit Airlines. I was on a Spirit Airlines flight and there was like a medical emergency. You know what they come on there like, is there a doctor on board? And everybody was panicking and I was just like. <laughs> They kept lowering the standards, like, is there a nurse on board? I go, there's no medical professional on this flight. This ticket costs $40. We're all unemployed, okay? 
Spirit Airlines, a good airline, especially if you don't have a lot of money. Uh, they get it done for the most part. But, John, you do point out that you wonder what JetBlue is thinking. They have a chance to have a partnership with American, a blue chip airline. Instead, they go Spirit. Good move, bad move? You know what? It's a gamble. It's a gamble. I'll tell you that. We were on the, we, we went to Vegas last weekend, and we didn't gamble in the casino, but we did fly Spirit. And that, that, is, a, that is a gamble with your body. You, you don't know what's going to – I mean, once you get on that flight, you're like, well, I, don't, I can't tell you, you took Spirit. I, it's, I mean, it's not our fault. <laughs> that is it. When you say or <laughs> complain, they go, you're on Spirit. Oh, yeah, I, I, I take spirit at myself. Yeah, come on, listen. Hey, but it, it, sometimes they got flights. That's the only way to get direct. But I did have to put down the landing gear myself. That was weird. Like, hey, can anyone come over? And I was like, I, I, this is my fault. I mean, I'm sitting takes. in the front, but we're all in this to together. It. John Chris, we're going to see you on the road. Check out John Chris live tour on July 21st. He's going to be in Goshen, Indiana. Then he's uh, going to be performing in a sold out show in Hattiesburg, Mississippi on the 28th. Don't even try to sneak in. He presses charges for more dates and times. Go to John Comedy.com. John Chris, you're the best. Thanks so much for not dressing up first. I wouldn't recognize you in a suit and I want you to fit in in Nashville. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.